All right, Ryan Christopher joins us right now with entertainment news with, well, one of the best, not maybe one, the best yeah. skateboarder of all time. Yeah, he's the GOAT. We're talking about yeah. Tony Hawk, and he's coming mm -hmm. here to the big city, and he's bringing a friend along with him, so skateboard legend Tony Hawk coming to the city alongside skating pioneer Rodney Mullen launching their speaking tour at the Beacon Theater on April 4th, <laughs> and I had a chance to catch up with Tony Hawk for a preview of the event and learned a little bit how New York City became a skateboarding mecca. Rodney is is like this oracle of of skate history and I mean he's the one who figured out how to ollie from the ground. The two skateboard legends are teaming up for a speaking tour, Dark Slides and Secret Tapes, discussing their lives, careers, and inspiration for innovation. The title is based on the Dark Slides skateboard move Rodney Mullen created and the Secret Tapes, which are special tokens in the video game franchise Tony Hawk Pro Skater. What we're doing is sort of exploring how we found our own secret tapes and possibly how you could find yours. Hawk will be speaking at the Beacon Theater and told me how important New York City is to the world of skating. It's iconic. Uh, there are, I mean, the, the roots of street skating uh, are well within New York City because in the late 80s, uh, the skate parks were all mostly closing down due to insurance issues. And people took to the streets to find their skate park in the landscape. And there was, I say it was, mostly evident in places like New York and San Francisco. Do you remember the first time skating in New York City? I do, actually, uh, this is a photo right here. Um, my friend Ray Underhill, who passed away, that was our first time in New York City when we were on a Bones Brigade tour in, uh, I think, 1988. Wow. Um, and we, we didn't do a lot of skating. We mostly pulled into the city to go to CBGB's and buy T-shirts, and then <laughs> <laughs> we... We were skating in and around the New York State, but um, but I kept coming back to it, and I still do. Hawk shared his thoughts on the connection between music and skateboarding. I think that there was a, a, a big parallel with punk music and um, and skateboarding, and then in later years, hip hop, because it was all DIY. It was all very much just just get an instrument, start making noise. In skating, it was just get a skateboard and start skating wherever you are. One musical artist who is a super skating fan, Lil Wayne. He loves it. I mean, he is truly one of the most passionate skaters I've ever seen and um, and will spend hours trying to learn some basic trick yeah. where most people would have given up. It's all you picked up the rock. Hawk is giving back to the big city as his foundation plans on building skate parks in every borough in the near future. You go to any skate park at almost any hour of the day and it's crowded. And it's not just crowded with a specific type of person, it's crowded with a very inclusive um, <laughs> selection of, of people. So it's, it's old, young, uh, of all races, of all genders, of all ages. It's, it's amazing and, and I, I don't feel like there's any other sport that you can say that about. Hawk shared one moment of his legendary career that he's most proud of. A couple years ago, I broke my, broke my femur, I broke my leg, and trying a trick that I've been doing for almost 40 years of my life, and I came back to do that trick again, sort of to, to, to re-conquer it yeah. uh, last year when I finally got better, and that was one of the most challenging things I've ever done. I mean, I, a lot of people associate me with the 900, and. 1999 was a huge year and our video game was released later that year and, and yes that was probably the most amazing moment of my competitive career but um, but this moment of, of sort of taking back the McTwist that had broken me and doing it again meant so much more. So there he is, Tony Hawk and Rodney Mullen's Dark Slides and Secret Tape speaking tour kicks off at the Beacon Theater April 4th and his nonprofit again, guys, looking to construct a skate park in every single borough right here in New York City. So pretty cool okay. stuff. Have you guys tried skateboarding? Uh, no, I watch it though. Yeah? Yeah. No, I, I can't. When I was a kid, I tried it, but I, no tricks or anything. Yeah, it didn't end too well. Yeah, I mean, no. I thought, I used to play the Tony Hawk video game, so I thought, of oh, course. I could be like Tony Hawk. Right. So one Christmas, my parents got me a skateboard, and oh, it didn't end too well. It's just. I was about thing. to say, not yeah. everybody survives mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. exactly. no, no. He's 55, right. still going at it. Still rocking it. Yeah. He's the GOAT. Yep, he is. Plain no question simple. about it. All right. Thank you, Ryan. You're welcome.